the firewall. A fine internet business idea for high school students. Christmas is coming around and internet hackers are buying expensive electronics, injecting malicious software into them and selling them online where companies don't care to verify their authenticity. Focusing on expensive electronics is a way of filtering out people that can't afford them. An infected device will try to hack into other devices on the network in hopes of escalating privileges. People discover various flaws in all kinds of devices all the time. So, if a way to gain access to Android phones connected to a local network becomes available in June, the device that was introduced six months before will be commanded to hack the phones, though there's plenty of bugs and outdated devices as is. What I describe here is a problem that people have. That is the first step in building a business. Second step is creating something that fixes that problem. And note that big companies are blocked from fixing this problem as they just want to sell, sell, sell. So as long as it is not illegal for them, companies don't care about human rights, you, your privacy, or anything else. They only care about profit, profit, profit. At this point, I would like to ask you to pretend not to care if your robotic vacuum cleaner is hacking your phone and sniffing all your network traffic. Because a problem that you don't care about is a problem that you shouldn't be trying to fix. The reason for this is failure. A number of strategy, research, development, even marketing failures will be coming your way. And if you don't care about what you are trying to fix, these failures will make you tired. They will make you bored. And they will trick you into thinking that you have already failed. A person who is passionate about the problem feeds on failure. They perceive failure as a step towards success. More than that, people who are passionate about fixing a problem will continuously ask themselves at each step, what if this fails? What if this fails? What if that fails? Caring about failure will have a CEO create a smaller failure surface, often without thinking. They may take a longer, more cautious road rather than the shorter that appears to lead directly to success. Being passionate about a problem will cautiously connect the CEO to the solution. I hope you are passionate about your privacy because here comes the solution worthy of a world-class CEO and world-class co-founders. A firewall. There's already a little firewall in your wireless router or even your phone. But the firewall I'm describing is almost a new kind of a firewall. It is designed to show your customers all the outgoing connections. When their phone is getting updates, when their robotic vacuum cleaner is talking to servers in China, when their Wi-Fi app controlled light bulb calls home, this firewall will block everything by default. That is to say, it will stop network communications, making all the devices think that the internet is down. Then, a partner website where all customers can contribute a possible description of what is talking and why will provide explanation for all the traffic. A lot will be talking to Amazon and Google servers. This is the same problem that Russia had with Signal, but this website will be able to take everything apart and explain it correctly. This firewall, however, 
will also feature device fingerprinting. The firewall will see more than just an outgoing connection to a random Amazon or Google server. It will see that it is the device identified as the vacuum cleaner. The fingerprinting is only available on the customer's local network. So this is a firewall that can block Google or Amazon or an Amazon device from accessing Amazon servers. The big companies that sell your profile will not be competing against you. More than that, just as soon as list of data breaches on Wikipedia becomes more popular, so will your product. It does not matter how many firewall products there are. Many people can't afford expensive routers, so they will use a DIY product similar to Pi-hole, for example. But those who do not wish to mess with network settings will pay for the convenience, some a lot, some a little. So there is a lot of room for different formats of the product here. Let us go over best of all worlds configuration, which is sold as a computer. But there is a free version that installs exactly like the Pi Hole and requires an existing desktop computer. The nicest possible device is a computer router, and touchscreen monitor in one. This way, upon purchase, a person hooks this up to their Wi-Fi or Ethernet, and it becomes a new secure Wi-Fi hotspot to which all the devices need to be reconnected to. The screen will instantly go wild, preventing browsers from reporting health, phones from sending nearby Wi-Fi device names to Google, and perhaps even lying to the vacuum cleaner that there are no updates, no commands to execute. This kind of a firewall needs a normal CPU, a desktop CPU. There may be dynamic content rewriting, domain masquerading, video caching, and maybe even serving privacy-conscious versions of internet websites. It is possible to prefetch internet news and then serve it without all the noise. Prefetching makes it so that Twitter, Facebook, or Reddit will only see the downloading of all the news and not what the customer is doing with it or which articles he may be reading. This will make the news faster and snappier, and makes it available when the internet is down. You can see that here Google will not compete against you. You will control the data flow. Some years into it, a company like Amazon will notice profit loss and turn their creepy eyes at your company. This may even mean that devices will search for the firewall and refuse to work if it is detected. In most cases, these devices will be returnable and under warranty, as your customers will own the firewall for a much longer period of time. But you must also produce a health or privacy report for a device, simply to prevent its purchase in the first place. Seeing how much traffic has been blocked, and even experiencing the occasional averted hack or leak or theft, nobody will be interested in purchasing a device that bypasses their firewall, their safety net. And here, where social media is usually used against the consumers by manipulating them, even if just into some purchase, it will now serve as a way to advertise your product which will also feature a free software-based version. Instant global audience, frictionless adoption of the free software version, and a perfectly reasonable offer of the easy-to-configure all-in-one firewall computer. When Apple started, all they were selling is curious computation, 
little later, they were selling optional programs and application, as it doesn't really matter what program you use to type up text for printing. Even today, Apple sells a phone that while giving also takes away. Your firewall is strictly a positive contribution to the modern household. It only gives and takes nothing away. As to the very approach you should take, you are the CEO, and all you should be concerned with is CEOing. You will approach investors stating that you will merge the interactive little snitch firewall experience with the household-wide piehole approach to traffic filtering. If that is something that you are passionate about, you will no doubt receive a small research grant. The piehole approach to installation has really nailed everything about the installation down. I would only suggest allowing your users to download a Debian-based distribution with your firewall pre-installed, then your users can boot from a USB stick or a live CD. Once you are ready to ship your hardware, all you are doing is branding it and reusing the operating system that is already available as a free download. Your job as a CEO is not to know how to customize Debian into your own operating system brand. Your job is to find a company or hire a team member that will do all this for you. Nor should you concern yourself with hardware or greatly customizing it, which would be a mistake. You just need a company that will brand all-in-one computers for you and put the operating system image on the hard drive. I am certain there are companies out there that will allow you to choose the case color as well. Choose gold and purple and few people will complain that it is just a stock computer. The computers that you will eventually ship are truly special, as those are the computers that you will always test your operating system on first. And they will change when you are forced to pay too much for, say, the 2030 model, then you switch to another company and focus on supporting that computer with your OS. As we talk about the operating system, you can see why being passionate about stopping the damn vacuum cleaner is critical. It will take many years of research and development, and no matter how much money there is to be made, you will become tired if you are not passionate. In closing, everyone who owns a phone is in desperate need of your product. Everything on their network is always talking. This is unsettling even with devices that have not yet been hacked. It may seem like your GPS coordinates and nearby Wi-Fi networks are not a big deal to be sending to Google, but your private information will eventually leak on the Internet, maybe even on old hard drives that have not been properly destroyed by Google to save money that year. A lot of your information has already been breached. The last thing you need is to continue adding to that, as that information will make it easier to associate your medical records, private emails, location history, DNS browsing history, and even your earnings, as the case was on Twitch just now. Remember that your cheap vacuum cleaner has an open SSH port on a modern IPv6 network. And inside your unprotected robotic vacuum cleaner is a picture of the entire layout of your house with 5 cm precision. This information should not exist and should never be allowed to exit the network. And you can't trust the vendors. They're just going to get hacked and the information will leak. It is not possible to take leaked information back. It will permanently stay on the Internet. The only thing that will work is to stop leaking information in the first place. 
there is a website where you can see if your email address or phone is associated with a breach. Visit https colon slash slash have I been owned dot com where the word owned has the hacker spelling of P W N E D. Enter the email address of either Alice or Bob at gmail dot com to get an idea of what it means to get hacked. The world needs your firewall. You can do this, but only if you are passionate about it.